ओके राइट टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन लीनियर इक्वेशन विथ टू वेरिएबल्स दैट इज एक्स एंड वाई आर टू डिफरेंट वेरिएबल्स देन वी हैव टू एस्टाब्लिश द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दीज टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम ऑफ द एजेस ऑफ द टू चिल्ड्रन सपोज ए इज अ पर्सन हु इज हैविंग द एज ऑफ फाइव इयर्स बी इज हैविंग द थ्री इयर्स देन आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स देन वॉट इज देयर एज इज गोइंग टू बी दैट इम्प्लाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेजर दिस आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स प्रेजेंट एज इज फाइव इयर्स आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स दिस फेलो इज गोइंग टू बी द टेन आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स शी इज दिस फेलो इज गोइंग टू बी एट इयर्स सपोज इफ आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट आफ्टर टू इयर्स आर आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स सम ऑफ दीज टू पीपल एज इज गोइंग टू बी दीन आर समथिंग इफ आई से then i should be in a position to identify that whose age is what and then a's age is what and b's age is what suppose the same application if i look into it suppose a per one pencil cost is equal to 5 rupees now if i want to purchase some set of pen, some set of pencils this is called pencil cost of one pencil cost Suppose pen cost is equal to ten rupees. If the parent had given only hundred rupees, now if you want to find out that how many pens and how many pencils we want to purchase it for hundred rupees. Suppose let us assume that x is the pencil, x is the number of pencils we are going to purchase. Y is going to be the number of pens, but sum of these two costs should be equal to. 100 rupees because the parent had given only 100 rupees now to study this the quantity how much quantity we have to take the pencils how much quantity of pen we have to take it so that this is an equation which we got it in two variables that is x is one variable y is going to be the other variable generally this equations can be written in a general form of an equation can be written as like ax Plus b y plus c is equal to zero is the general form of an equation, where a is a coefficient of x, where coefficient of x, y is a coefficient of y, and then c is a constant term. Now, if you observe this equation and compare with this equation, we have like this: five x plus ten y minus hundred is equal to zero. Comparing this equation with this equation, we are getting it as a equal to five and b equal to ten and c is equal to hundred. The c equal to minus hundred. Now, the same manner, if I want to think about these type of applications, naturally, this linear equations in two variables is going to be very much useful. But can we find out the graphical solution for this? yes we can find out the graphical solution for this before going to do this we should know that what is a linear equation in one variable but earlier in the last class we have studied that linear equation in one variable we have written it as ax plus b equal to 0 that implies here x is equal to you can write like this ax is equal to minus b x is equal to minus b by a is the solution for this that implies we are not talking about any other variable here our focus is only on x but in this case x should be measured and y should be measured but sum of these two should be equal to totally 100 then only we will find out the appropriate result for this now our today's our focus is on completely how what are the applications of the equation ax plus by plus c in terms of real life situations we will take it and in numbers as well as in areas also we are going to concentrate therefore you first the chapter starts with graphical representation of the two variables that is a graphical representation second thing is going to be the practical situation cases only we are going to deal with this one with this we can close this chapter if you see this suppose x is equal to 3 which i have taken y is equal to 2 i have taken in a graphical representation 
if you see totally 0 or is in 1 unit and 2 units, 3 and 4 units on x axis we have taken and then this is going to be 1, 2, 3 and 4 we have taken. Now x is equal to 3 means if I take the point on x axis this is 3 that implies the coordinate can be written as a 3 comma 0 we can write it the same manner on y axis you can write it as 0 comma 2 we can write it naturally the lines are going to be the horizontal as well as vertical that implies the point of intersection of these two lines is going to be 2 comma 3 is the point of intersection let us consider it as p now our main task is in a generalized manner if you see this equation is y is equal to 3 this equation is equal to y is equal to 2 that implies a line which is parallel to x axis general form we can express in terms of y is equal to k now in the same manner if i take the line parallel to y axis you can express in terms of x is equal to h the point of intersection for both the lines is h comma k is going to be the point of intersection of this. Now the same manner that implies the solution for x is equal to 3 as well as y equal to 2 is 2 comma 3 is going to be the solution. Now my main interest is like this. Suppose if I have taken the origin here 0 comma 0. Now I can join this line with this line I can join it. That implies it is going to make some angle with regard to, I can make out some angle with regard to x axis I can make out. That angle let us consider it as a theta I can take it. That a theta can be measured with respect to this length as well as this length is 3 units as well as this length I can measure it. This length is 2 units here I can take it. Now my main question is. If I want to find out the equation of the line OP, I am going a little extension of the topic. Therefore, OP equation I can write in terms of, generally I can write the equation in terms of y minus y1 is equal to this slope into x minus x1. Slope generally we can mention like this y minus y1. y1 is a coordinate which I have taken this one is x1 y1 this point which i am taking it as x1 y1 therefore y minus 0 equal to slope can be measured it as 2 divided by 3 that is y coordinate here this length divided by 3 that is opposite side divided by adjacent side this generally opposite side by adjacent side we are calling in trigonometry tan theta but slope can be measured it as 2 by 3 into x minus 0 we can write it that implies y is equal to 2 thirds of x we can write it then the equation can be written in terms of 3y is equal to 2x we are writing but in a simple sense we can write like this 2x minus 3y equal to 0 now our main focus is 